brain rot. Within the past year or so, that term has just been getting slapped onto anything and everything. I'm fully convinced your grandpa could be having a goddamn brain aneurysm. Someone uploads it to TikTok as an audio, and what do you know, the next day, 20 new commentary YouTubers are saying how it's gone too far. However, I think the word too far has also gone too far. So I've taken eight of the most prevalent quote brain rot creators, and I'm gonna be tier listing them. The fuck Boom, also known as the creator of Skibbity Toilet. People have been non-stop shitting on him for the past year for one of the most iconic kid symbols known to man. And I really gotta say though, it, like, it ain't that bad. Yes, it can probably be pretty brain-numbing if you watch 20 of them in a row, but just a bunch of random Gmod shit posts, it really is nothing. The real problem is people stealing the Skibbity Toilet property and making them into this absolute brain-destructing mess. It's like when the Gagigadagadigadago meme became popular from one person posting a meme from it and then all these content brain melting nincom poops came out of nowhere and made it a hundred times worse so yeah overall i don't really think it's that bad so i'm gonna give it an a tier the only reason i'm not giving it an s is because i mean i don't fucking watch this shit for life <laughs> MLG edits. Now, even though this isn't a YouTuber, I just wanted to add this quick little section in because not enough people have been talking about it. This shit ran the tens so fucking hard that if one person accidentally bashed their toenail into the wall, fucking sirens blaring at 500 decibels will jump scare the living grandma out of you. And I just gotta say, this is some of the most irritating shit I've ever seen. Because unlike stuff like Skibbity Toilet, where it's just other creators reporting on it, this shit was widespread. No matter what what you were watching, it really felt like this stuff would just never get off your screen. It's like the replica of today's slow-mos. Like, come on, I just want to see this shit raw, not with some fancy edits. This is an F tier. LOL CRINGE Now this is probably one of the worst brain rock creators we're gonna end up seeing in this list because they do an absolute assortment of stuff. First, I'm pretty sure they started off from being a complete bot commenter, which already from that point on I have zero respect for them. But after spamming their classic brain rock horrendous engagement bait, like just look at this shit. God damn it, it's the same fucking short. Which in their favor has actually worked pretty well for them. But you know what won't work well? Copyright striking somebody's video criticizing them. A YouTuber by the name of MK made a video criticizing LOL Cringe's content and then was told, check your email. He then made them go on Telegram and ends up saying this shit. Hi, you guys really disappoint me, but especially you. I'll tell you this, I can delete any video about myself, but I only deleted yours. God, this fucking man, bro. Like just the attitude, literally taking down the video of a channel damn near a thousand times smaller than him. Like Jesus Christ, man, just make your damn brain not shorts and move on. Lol cringe adds a response, I can ignore insults. It doesn't bother me. I mean, that fucking copyright takedown request sure did. But you encourage people to complain about my channel. And that's why there's a strike on your channel. Jesus Christ, your fucking toddler ass audience probably hasn't watched a long form video since the day they were let off their womb due to how unbelievably corrupt YouTube short brain rot content like this has become. I'm not a bad person and you all insult me. Then he says that by his content, he helps collect donations for children who are sick doggy style under many of my popular videos, which already sounds like bullshit. But even supposing that it is the case, again, your audience isn't gonna even fucking know. You can just post your brain off and move along with the day. I know damn well with 300 million views a month, you're doing completely fine. Anyways, yeah, there's some more stuff, but overall, this is just the lowest of the barrel type of a human being that you could have asked for. This is such an unbelievably easy F. You can suck the living soul out of me to enjoy one of his videos. <laughs> Mr. Talala. Now, pretty recently, this channel has come under the crossfire of many commentary YouTubers. But I mean, let's just look at some of his content. It's all gonna be safe, and we're all gonna have a great time. What in the Jesus Christ was that? It's basically just the same type of brain rot lol cringe was doing with some obnoxiously annoying face filters. But I'm not gonna try to make this too long. Pretty bottom of the barrel brain rot, so I'll just keep it at a B tier. 
rock back. Now to a few of my OGs out there, you might just recognize that name. And you may be saying, why is crack back here? To anyone who doesn't know who this YouTuber is, he was an absolute YouTube nincompoop creator. This man quit and he quit at the right time. Right on the rise of the word brain not getting slapped onto any piece of cringe or ununderstandable content. No way it's in theory. Where to? No way, it's Corey Kenshin. It's like the video was so bad, it just automatically becomes funny. This man was one of the inspirations for me creating a channel, and it's super sad to see shitters like Nikocado Avocado strike this man's channel down, which actually happened, by the way. I can physically feel my cerebral cortex just vanishing as I binge watch some dumbass crack back meme videos. This is an easy S tier. <laughs> Max Pro Design. Now this is another person who has just been getting completely sniped out of every possible angle by the commentary community. It's a channel that includes a family of bears or monkeys, I can't tell, and they use iconic characters like Gagigadagadigadago. As I mentioned previously with the creator of Skibbity Toilet, it was never even the original memes that were bad, it was the transformations of them like this shit. Like, I bet you if my ass was born in 2024, I would get automatically hooked like a meth addict, one swipe away from my brain just physically imploding. And although that may look bad, it is nothing compared to the next creator. Maisie Craft. Now, this is a name I've mentioned on this channel a few times now because of the peak nincom poop that this man creates. <laughs> It is basically just the worst version of Max Pro Design. This is just gonna be my go-to video to show you how cooked YouTube Schwartz kids are. And also look at the comments. This video has 400,000 views and 43 comments. Yeah, the fucking iPad kids can't even write shit. This shit's a solid S tier. Your brain is going right in the shitter as soon as you start watching this stuff. However, if you take everything we just looked at and we combine it into one YouTuber, what do you get? You get... I mean, this shouldn't really be a surprise. This channel is such an unbelievable content farm. It mixes up every tiny bit of brain rot we have just looked at into one entity. For example, in the past day, they have posted over six shorts and three long ass videos. Like, have you ever heard why people say lanky boxes cooking the next generation? Well, it's because of how unbelievably long these videos are that I have no doubt the average iPad kid could just be spending their whole life doom watching lanky box. Like, you've gotten over three hours of content in one day. They also got classic shit like subscriber baiting. And I mean, the animations, I guess they're okay. Also, while I was trying to look at this channel, something actually caught my eye. Funniest game Lanky Box has ever played. We have to slap each other? And what the fuck is this thumbnail, bro? And I mean, look at all this text as well. Lanky Box includes Foxy, Boxy, Ghosty. Shut up! You damn oh no, your audience ain't reading all that, bro. This is the connoisseur of brain rot. So if you want your cerebral cortex to vanish out of thin air, watch this shit, S tier. Watch me tier list YouTube predators next.